No, I love science. I love martial arts. And the thing is, like, even in martial arts, they teach you about the science behind the spider. Now, in order to be able to defeat your enemy, the best thing to do is what? Most people are not familiar with how to kill a, uh, kill a spider. That's right. And it's something most people would never think of, but they carry it around them just about every day. And the way to kill a spider is, you, or to draw it out, is to simply spray perfume. Perfume, you notice it's, it's a sweet aroma. Most people wear it because it smells good. It's a good fragrance. And I notice in scripture where God talks about the sweet aroma of, his, of our praise. That's perfume. That's symbolic to the perfume and the natural. And the reason why perfume is known to either attract the spider or to kill the spider is because when perfume is sprayed on the spider, the spider breathes through its joints. Most people aren't familiar with that. It breathes through its joints. And when you spray perfume, it sticks to them. It's a lot thicker than water. So therefore, it suffocates the spider if you spray it on the surface of the spider. And when that happens, just imagine a person when they panic when they're drowning because they're suffocating, right? They're just moving all around. You can't tell like where they're going. Well, that's exactly how a spider acts. A spider literally drowns whenever you space perfume on the surface because all of its joints is covered. So that's the best way to kill a spider. Mm. Yeah, that's one of the ways that you can actually find out where it is. When you spray it, they can smell that in the air if it's not on them. So if they smell it in the air, they're trying to find a new place to take cover because they feel threatened. So I therefore, that's how you draw them out. Your praise draws the enemy out. Your praise draws the enemy out. Yeah. So when you praise God, that's that's you drawing the enemy out. Whenever you draw the enemy out, now you can spot where the enemy is at. But now at this point in time, you're not the prey, you're the predator. Come on. The spider is fearing you because it smells the aroma and the fragrance and the praise of God in the atmosphere. So that's how you draw them out. The other way that you can also find where the spider is is if you're the prey. Now, being the prey is like you said, you just come home, simply sweep down the spider webs, and if you don't find the spider, what's going to happen? It's going to create a little home. That's how, that's how they maneuver throughout the atmosphere. That's how they maneuver throughout the field. That's how they maneuver throughout their territory, but it's supposed to be your territory. But by just simply wiping it down, they just feel that either something big fell on it and they just need to strengthen it. Because when they build a new spider, they build it stronger than the last time. Now, what happens is, when you draw it out, the spider's going to come out when it starts feeling anything tangling. So that's why it'll leave. As soon as you leave out the room, they will come out when the lights is down because they're safest during that time. In the dark. In the dark, He's exactly. Real good. So what happens is when, you, when, when a spider is getting ready to create a new one, sometimes if they're outside rather than in your home, this is why you got to be mindful also. I know I'm kind of jumping around, but this come is why on, you got to be good. mindful oh. when you go to certain places because a spider will actually trail it, will find its way to trail you to go back home. So if you're in a park, you know that's why people say, your parents say you can make sure the Holy Spirit also gives you that, it quenches that thirst. It's a th it quenches that thirst so you know never thirst, thirst again. On top of that, the Holy Spirit is your teacher. It, it teaches you all things. You don't have to worry about anything about that. So just learn, just to study the enemy. Learn, like I said, you have two ways to catch a spider. You can either be its prey or you can be its predator. The choice is yours. Right.